Hey guys, I'm Emily Powers, and today I'm going to show you how to paint this winter um, red barn landscape. It's going to be really easy, and I'm going to be doing it in acrylics. And I just thought I would um, say real quick that this is the last um, painting for January. So this was the old schedule. And all of these are on my channel now. You can click my picture um, under the video and you can look at any of those. But this is our new schedule for February and March. So um, I'm going to be doing these soon. If you want to see those, they should be on there um, in a couple of months. So um, the colors I'm going to be using for this video is titanium white, cadmium red medium, phthalo blue, and burnt sienna. And I might end up using burnt umber. I don't think I'll need it, but we'll see. And I'm just going to use four brushes. So this is a one inch bright, um, a three eighths inch angle, and then two small round brushes. One of them is just older and frayed out. And I didn't want to mess the new one up, so that's why I got two of them out. And then I'm also going to use um, a few different colors of chalk for um, drawing the barn and the horizon line. So, get this out of the way. Okay, so the Horizon line is going to be about, it's going to be about a fourth of the way up. So it's going to be right here. And I'm just going to take my ruler and kind of make sure that it's About the same each side <clears throat> and then I'm going to take it and use my chalk to go across and so you want to get it as straight as you can if it's a little off it's okay you don't have to worry about it but you want to get it as straight as possible. And so I'm going to start with my one inch bright and take straight white and go right up against that line. And you can add some water to help it flow better. And I sprayed my palette with water and a little spray bottle to keep them moist longer. And you can do the same thing for the canvas. I didn't this time, but if you spray the canvas with water, it will help the paint flow better too. Okay, and then I'm going to get a little bit of blue you don't need a whole lot of the blue to make it color that white and so it gets in the middle of the sky it gets kind of dark so I'm working my way up to the dark spot if you get streaks in it, it's okay. It'll just kind of look like clouds. Okay, so now I'm making the really dark. It's going to be right in here in the middle. And actually, I need a little bit of I didn't put that out because I only used it in the sky. I forgot I used it. 
but anything that I use will be in the description so you can look at that before you paint this and all the material should be in there. And then I'm more water to help it flow off my brush better. And there's a little streak right there I want to cover up. Okay, so okay, so now I'm gonna get out. This is heat magenta. Forgot I used just a little bit of it in this clouds. So I'm going to rinse my brush out and get, if there's a little bit of blue it's okay, but I'm going to get white and just a little bit of the pink and just a little bit of the blue. I'm going to put that up here. Make some more rain out. And it's got some streaks and things in here, so you can kind of define it however much you want to. And then over here there's some and there's some streaks in here. Okay, so that's pretty much all I'm going to do for the sky. I'm going to, I might add just a little bit more of that light pink color here, but I don't want to do too much to it. So that's all I'm going to do for the, oops, got pink on there somehow. Um, that's all I'm going to do for the sky part. So now I'm going to rinse the brush out and get some white with a little bit of the blue and a little bit of the burnt sienna, not a whole lot. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so I'm going to put this is going to be the snow color. I'm going to go back with white later, just plain white, but it has to have a little bit of blue or something else in it or else it will look flat. So you want even things that are white have different colors in them. So you want to put the other colors in first. So that it won't just look plain white. It'll look like it's got hills and bumps and things in the snow. Okay, so that's all I want to do for the first layer, I think. So, let's see, there's a little bit of a streak right there. Okay, so I'm going 
to rinse my brush out and I'm going to use a hair dryer to blow dry this and then I'll do the next step. Okay, so now that this is dry, I'm going to take one of my round brushes and I'm going to take the phthalo blue and burnt sienna to make a dark color. It's going to be like a, almost like a really dark turquoise kind of, but it's more muted. And I'm going to kind of tap in trees and hills and just whatever I see back here. So right now I'm just kind of tapping to make it more textured. And I thought I would say when you use the hair dryer, make sure to put it on the cold setting instead of the warm and keep it about six to eight inches away from the canvas because if you get it too close or too hot then it will crack the paint and you kind of can't do anything about it once it gets like that so you have to be careful when you do that part you can do some high and some low and then I'm going to mix a little bit of white with it and I'm going to kind of do some hills back here. And I'm going to take a little bit of white at the bottom and kind of make it lighter down there. Like maybe there's fog or something down there. to keep that going over here and you can add water to it to make it flow better and it'll really get into the cracks of the canvas better okay then I'm going to get some of the white and put that down. And if it's not, if you don't make it perfectly smooth under, it's okay because it will make it look kind of like the snow is, you know, making hills or something back there. And maybe the trees that are in front are, you know, closer to us. So then I'm going to tap again with a dark color for the trees. And you can make some of them kind of closer like that. So it'll make it look like there's depth back there. And I'm going to keep going with these hills over here and get the white so if it's bumpy it's okay but I don't want it super bumpy so I'm trying to keep it pretty straight just you don't have to worry about it being completely straight. And if it's not super defined, whether it's trees or hills, if it, you could do all trees or all hills, just whatever you want to do. And if it all kind of, it's kind of blending, but it's okay. Well, 
you know, just look like the people that are looking at it can just kind of fill in um, with their eyes what they think it looks like. And it, as long as you have different textures and things back here, it'll make it look like different things. Okay, so I'm going to step about there because I know my blinds going to be somewhere around here. I don't have to go all the way over. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing on this side and put some trees and things. <clears throat> okay, and that's pretty good, I think. Okay, so I'm going to go rinse my brush out. to take my um, angle brush and put some of that snow back with the white over so just kind of you can leave some of it dark and you can put You can put hills and things just by kind of the direction you put your brush strokes in. It'll make it look like it's going up and down. And I'm going to have to go back over the bottom of the barn with white too because when I do the red it's going to kind of um, it's going to kind of um, not it's not going to be it's not going to look like white snow is up against it so I'm going to put white to make it look like that snow is up against the barn Okay, so I think I'm going to dry this again so I can draw my barn in and it won't stick to the wet paint, so. Okay, so now that this is um, dry, I'm going to take my red chalk and I'm going to see the barn starts about halfway in just a little off halfway so like right here and comes off this way the bottom and then the end is probably if you split it in half and then in half again going to be almost on the eighth but a little off so right in here somewhere let's see I'm just making sure that that's the right amount okay so I'm going to bring it up to where the horizon line is kind of halfway um, to the half of the barn. And then it's got the roof. And it comes out slightly and curves up and then does another slant even more and so it's going to be about half so right in there and this 
this is going to have a little line down and the roof comes up and out to a point and then it comes down slightly makes this little curve out this way and then goes the rest of the way down okay so that's pretty much all I'm gonna do for that part and I'm just gonna look and make sure that's the way I want it And let me see, I think the roof might be a little lower than half. I'm going to bring this whole thing down just a little bit. I don't want it that tall. Okay. So we'll wipe the chalk off after we're done with uh, the towel. Right now, I'm going to take my round brush. Well, actually, I think I'm going to use the other one. So I'm going to get the round brush and add a little bit of red to my white. So it's mostly white. I'm just tinting it a little bit because this red I put it by itself would you be able to see all this mountain and stuff back here so I'm covering over with this first and I might need to do this twice because you can see the dirt back there still so If this bottom isn't perfectly straight, it's okay because the snow is gonna, you know, make some lumps and things up in front of it. So if it's not perfect, it's okay because we'll cover over the bottom later. Okay. And then it carries on this way. This is kind of where I'm going to define where the edges are more. Okay. You can see it's still very see-through, but we're going to go over a few more times so you can't see that. Okay, and then I'm going to get my white and put that in.
plants down and then slants down more. So there's like two slants here. Okay, I'm just making sure the lines are all straight, and this comes out from here. I'm going to make it just slightly taller so that I can put this in. So the root comes out like that. And then I'm just going to take this dark color and put it in here. Not that dark. I'm going to fill it with the white a little bit. And it comes out and then goes back down to here. So that's not the color I'm going to stay with, but it's not push it. I don't want it that far, so I'm going to step back. Okay. So now I'm going to Take the white and carry it over where it's over that that grid and that right there. And then I'm going to take the red and cover over right there <clears throat> okay so now I'm going to switch well actually I'm going to do since the bottom didn't come over as far as I thought. I'm just going to put a little bit just to water down. To put a little bit of the trees that go down like that. Keep getting. Stuff in the snow. Okay. So now I'm going to switch to my other round that comes to a point better. And I'm going to use this dark, but I'm going to put a little more of the Sienna in it. 
this time. And I might add a little bit of white just so it's not so dark. See what that looks like. So starting about right here, so a little further than half where the barn is, is like these sprigs of grass coming up. And some of them will be short, some of them will be long. It's just like kind of coming up above the snow. Comes out to around here somewhere, so. Some over here, and then there's some just kind of dots in here, maybe where you're just seeing like a little bit of the grass, or there's some rocks or something. I don't know exactly, but it's little dots, and then we'll put some grass right here. And I'm going to take the blue and a little bit of the brown, but it's mainly blue this time. And I'm going to take it and make like a pond because in the picture there's like this little it looks like frozen water, but it's it's small. It's just like a little patch of it. So I decided to leave that out and kind of put a pond of frozen over pond. You can leave that part out if you don't like it, but I think it adds one more thing to it. Okay, so after I fill it in with blue, then I'm going to take that grass color and put some grass around the edges. You know how ponds have like reeds and things on the edge. So you don't have to put it all around the edge, but Take around most of it just to kind of cover over the um, places where I stopped and to just kind of make it look more like a pond instead of just a food blob of paint sitting there. Put some grass kind of in front too so it's not just over here and none over here but a little bit over here you can add water so it'll flow better Put some here so it's some maybe right here. I'm just gonna leave this part pretty white, okay? And we're gonna go over with some white to make it look frozen later. Okay, so 
I'm going to add a little more red this time. And cover over. See how it's covering a lot better this time that we got that first layer down. And I'm going to cover the whole barn with this. And you can make the barn any color you wanted to, but I think red is kind of the more popular color. But I have done a barn. Um, you can see it if I, if you go to my YouTube channel, there's um, another barn that I did. It's green. Um, it was green in the picture, so I thought most barns are going to be red, so I might as well do at least one barn that's a different color than what you would normally see. I think they're mostly like red and white. And then on this side, I'm going to put some trees. Um, and they're going to have a lot of branches. So you kind of, it's, it makes it easy when you get enough branches in there that you kind of don't even have to define where the branches are coming from because there's so many there you don't even see sometimes where it starts so okay and I'm gonna get more of my white And put the roof a second, give it a second layer too. So we're kind of doing um, the same thing with the snow on the barn as we were doing with the um, snow on the ground because we already had some blue showing. Um, back here so then when we went over the first time it kind of mixed slightly with the red that was but there was still some red in my brush so it mixed a little red and it still you could see the blue so it's kind of it doesn't look flat because it's not just white, it's got other colors in it. And there's like a light coming off. You see, sorry about that noise. Um, right here, there's kind of like a light coming off the back, but I didn't put that because I thought it might look kind of like the barn has a tail. <laughs> but if you want to put the light, we could even put the light in the front if you want to do. So I'm gonna make that dark color with the phthalo blue and burnt sienna. And I might put a little red in it to make it darker. Maybe a little pink. When you mix a bunch of colors together, it dulls everything and makes like a gray or brown or something like that. And back 
Here it is where the tree starts. Let's get that over a little bit so I can let my hand know. And it goes up. Pretty high. It goes about a little more than halfway, so it's going to be like up here to the stalk. Like that. You can water it down to help it flow better. And just kind of start putting branches coming off in different directions and there's some in a row too Pack as many as you can in here without making it just kind of one big dark blob. You're going to be able to see the branches, but you also want enough in there that it looks full. And if this were a different season, then you could, you know, put the leaves over it and you wouldn't even really be able to see all these branches. But you can clearly see them when they don't have any leaves. So, so anywhere that it Looks like it's kind of bare, just kind of fill in with twigs coming off. There you go. And then there's another tree down here that's much smaller. It's going to come up about this high. Okay, <clears throat> and then if I'm going to take some white and kind of hit that down right in there. And I'm going to take a little bit of the gray and put some of that in there. Because it barn has like a slight shadow. Like all the way to the end. And 
I did this when I did the snow on my last one, but I forgot to do it, so. I tend to do things in different orders than I did the first time when I'm doing it the second time. Oops. I got the water drip on there. And I'm going to come back and put that back there. And just put that right there. And I'm probably going to have to, I'm going to blend that out right there so it doesn't change to white so quickly. Okay. So now, since this is still wet, I'm going to take my white and I'm going to kind of have it water down a little bit. And I'm going to just streak it in so it looks like it's frozen over. Because you know how when lakes freeze, they kind of snow gets on top of them and they kind of have this cloudy look on it. Okay, that's pretty good. And then I'm going to take this color I used for the grass and there's some fence post type things. Like an old fence that kind of fell apart. So there's one right there. And another one kind of right there. And once further back are gonna be slightly skinnier and not as long. There's only like five or six back here. It's not many. And you can kind of slant them different directions, kind of showing it's an old fence. And then I'm going to take this lighter and kind of some grass gets grown over and not used anymore. That. And then I might take a little bit of white, kind of dot it on a few of them, make it look like snow is on the top of it. Okay, so I'm going to put in my door and windows, even though this is still kind of wet. I'm going to I'm going to have to go over to cover the red anyway, so I'm going to put in the door. And it comes up kind of high in the barn. So I'm just putting the first layer of the door in. You can see it's definitely not white yet. And you could have avoided it, just gone around with your red, but I think this can be easier for beginners in some ways because you don't have to go around things. You can just go over the whole thing and it'd be fine. Can just go over later. Okay, and then I'm making a dark color with the Phthalo Blue and Burnt Sienna again. It's even darker than these two. So this is 
like almost black. So that's, I want to make it look black. And I'm going to go into the window right in here. And it has a white frame, but I'm going to do that after I do the last red on the barn. And then this has one right here. And then there's one a little higher because it's closer to us. And a little lower on the bottom of that other one. I'm getting it too far out there. There we go. That's better. I'm just going to cover over that. Don't want it so far. And then go back and put the border again. We can kind of shape them out when we do the white too. There you go. Okay. So I think I'm going to blow dry the barn to get to the next step because it's still wet. Okay, so now I'm going to put, uh, make this dark. Oh, I'm going to put it the color it's going to be. So I'm going to take it like this so we can use it for the grass and put it right up under here. Sorry, that was my dog. Her toenails touched the floor and make noise. And do it with the sun. I'm gonna actually do a little bit of this red tint to it because it's kind of, I think the color of the barn is kind of bouncing up off of the red and going to this. part that's under that's white, but it's not really white under here because it's uh, shattered. And then you take the dark and go closest to the barn where the dark shadow is. There we go. And I'm going to take this red color and make more of a defining uh, um, can't think of the word point where the arm makes a little point there. Two red. Okay. Two dark. There we go. Pretty good. That was my dog bone dropping on the floor. It always makes that noise and she does that. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the last layer of the white. So 
it still shows some other colors, it's okay, but I want it to be as, I want it to be more white than what it is, it's still got a bunch of those other colors in it. Just get a kind of globby on and then spread it. Trying to get that corner real good. Okay. So that's our last layer of white. And then I need or the last layer of snow and blood. And we're going to do more white here. Because he is needing it. And I'm probably going to have to do it one more time after I try to get in that corner real good so that we'll come to a good point Okay, and we're going to do the red on the bottom now, so I'm going to, oops, I'm dripping, um, take the red by itself and put that here, but it's not going to be just this red throughout the whole thing. I'm going to... Do another color with it that will make it not just the plain red. I mean, if you if you don't want to do the other color, you can do just the red, and it would still look really good. But actually, I think it needs to cover over one more time because you can still see the I can still see that mountain so I'm not going to do that right where I just see it. I'm going to cover that real good and right there too I can see it okay so now what I'll do I'll wait for that to dry is a bit more dark in there and then I'll do the frame and it's got some of the blue in it so it's not plain white it's more of a light blue but I'll go over a second time And then the line in the middle isn't right in the middle. It's a little over to the left because it's slanted slightly. And so this is kind of covering over a little bit since it's slanted. And we're not going to see as much of that window as that one. That's why it looks like that. 
So now I'm going to take the white and go right here. And take that dark color and put it back and went over too far that and then same with this over here put it around and I want to sh show more of the blue on this second window than the first one because it is closer to us and it's maybe bigger that white again and just make sure that I'm getting it bigger than that other one. I think I gotta move it down a little bit and put the blue in there more. Okay, and I'm going to go over this to make it not so blue. May have to go over it another time, but <clears throat> okay. And I think I'm going to spread that red out more. Because if it has a hard line, then when you go with that transparent color, it'll kind of show up. Okay. And then I'm going to go over with the white again. Over the lake. Because you know, it needs a little bit more of the frozen over feeling. And then... I'm going to take the dark color and put some birds. So I'm going to make one of them with its wings open. That one of them can be put over here. And it's more of a V. Its wings are higher up. And then another one is more like an M. Its wings are further out than the other two. Like that. So you can make different bird shapes with just two lines. And now I think I'll start on this side um, with the I'm sucking up the extra water that was there. So I'm going to start on this side of the barn and put that bright red in the middle. And then I'm going to add some burnt sienna to the red make it darker just a little bit and put that on the top and the bottom above and below the bright red
You can kind of, if you put it up and down, then if there's any streaks, it'll look like boards, something like that. Of course, I think this is a tin barn. It looks kind of like, I don't know, it's so far away. Can't really tell if there's any uh, wood on here, but. Okay, and then I'm going to put that along there, along the window. <clears throat> and put the dark under there. And I'm going to put a line right here because there's um, a white line that cuts this section off in this section. So I'm going to put that in. It was on this side too, so. Knock that off, and then here, and if it's a little thick, then you can come back and kind of pick it up. We do that again. Okay. And then on this side pick it up and kind of blend it out because I'm going to have to put more white on there anyway. So I'll see how it does. Hmm. Might be okay. So I'm going to put the break right here. And then up under this part is going to be darker. And I'm going to get the bright red. Define that line. Oops. Too much. And put that all up under here. 
and just cover the rest of it. Okay, and then I'm going to take the white and there's like a slight line right there like the snow is kind of coming over slightly and then the white in here covering over one more time and then the one around the windows And actually, I forgot one window. There's one up here. Right there. I'm going to try to get it bright. I'm laying on thick and try to get it brighter with just one. Time. And go back with the dark. Move that over. Okay. And then there's a handle on this door. Just do like a little sideways dot. And then I'm going to take my angle brush with the white. The last thing. And put that right over any areas that. Where I got the red over a little too far. Okay. Okay. And that's pretty good. I'm just going to put that right there. Okay, so I'm going to sign it and that's actually there's a little bit of red there. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to try to keep it like a finger's width away from the bottom and the sides because you don't want the frame to cover over. And I'm going to see if I can take this chalk off. want to get too close to it and mess up the top but you can kind of see you know what it looks like so 
that's the red barn and again this was the old schedule that we had and we just did this so next week we're gonna do the cat and um, if you want to see any of these those will be on my channel soon so you can click my picture that should be popping up in the corner soon if it hasn't already and I hope you paint um, this with me and you can tell me in the comments um, how you like the video okay so I just realized that I need to put a part on the roof that um, you can see actual color a little bit and if the that in real quick. And there's some right around here. And then there's a little bit here. And I'm going to take the white and that down is a little high. Right there, and then kind of take some light right into these, and then there's um, a light um, there's a little bit of red, like a part where you can see the there's like this line that's red that goes across this bottom. You can see it right in there. And then you take the white and go back over. that where the white is just now and that's pretty good so I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you will like and subscribe. Bye.